Hi, I'm Anna Hardwick with First Weekend Club, and I am very pleased to be talking with Peter Stubbings, the Directors Guild of Canada nominated director of Empire of Dirt, one of the most beautiful films to come out last year, and a hit at TIFF 2013. I want to ask you, okay. how did you walk in there and make such a beautiful and sensitive movie about three women, three women from a culture completely different than your own, and uh, make it so uh, real, poignant, and sensitive? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I grew up with four women. Maybe that had something to do with it. I grew up with three sisters and a mom. That largely had something to do with maybe um, understanding that aspect of it. The, the crazy female dynamic that occurs in a home. In a home and, and being the sort of the, uh, the youngest of all that. The witness. Yeah, the youngest and the witness. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Well, there's actually a funny story about that. I, ultimately, I was really spoiled with love, but there was a lot of like torture as well. Um, so that was maybe part of it. And I think the a friend of mine, I don't know, I don't know. My one of my best friends growing up was a was a sort of a Jamaican Yugoslavian Canadian fellow, and uh, you know, he sort of uh, made me aware of sort of cultural issues. Um, what it feels like to be non-white, you know? So maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, Were you daunted? Totally. Were you like, who am I to do this? Absolutely, like I can't swear, but I can't tell you how much, like I was absolutely daunted. I'm terrified, yeah. Yeah, and I also thought this is, um, this is a bad idea. This, I shouldn't be doing this. Um, and uh, if, I don't know if you no noticed during TIFF, but I took a very low profile. I, I took a very low profile and in part because I felt I wanted the, the women of this film who worked so hard on it to... Who are so incredible in the movie. They're amazing to be sort of front and center. So, yeah, I, I did feel like uh, there would be certainly more than one person out there asking this question. Oddly enough, you were the first to ask. Yeah. Well, it just struck me, and I thought, I thought you did such a beautiful job. And for, for uh, it was, it was eye-opening to see a movie about First Nation women and that was secondary to their relationships and to what was going on uh, interpersonally. And so we saw them as real three-dimensional human beings and it was extremely refreshing. Yeah, along with Jennifer Podemski, our producer and our writer, uh, we worked hard on that tone to get that tone right. And we didn't want to, um, uh, we felt that we'd seen that film before where white society is at the center of sort of all all ills that befall native people in Canada and that it, to us was sort of like a given in some ways it's that's a given so let's work on a different let's work on something different let's let's talk about um, the interpersonal and just that subtle shift somehow we were kind of making something significantly different and in that you make something that has even more impact and makes us reflect on these issues with more depth and more sensitivity I think yeah, we were really um, keen to make it universal so that if you didn't necessarily have to be native to appreciate the themes that were happening in this film. Well, it was beautiful and uh, we look forward to seeing what with, uh, for seeing, we look forward to seeing what you come up with next. Congratulations on your nomination. Okay, thank you so much.